y'all welcome back to my channel so today is MLK day me and the fam just been chilling around cleaning up trying to like you know get ready for the week ahead hello guys because I love doing exercises for me and I'm so excited yeah I've been and, feeling him out gonna do an experiment today, when I was a baby my mom was a grown up because she liked me <laughs> I loved you but when you were born you were better than anything I could have ever imagined <laughs> my smart boy you smart handsome respectful I am. I am. I am. Mm -hmm. all the I know, things I know, I know. all right so we are going to use this natural National Geographic Stunning Science Chemistry set. Oh my gosh, that's a big science experiment block. Yeah, it says it has 20 easy science experiments. We are just gonna do one. This is e big, super easy. I got a big, gigantic, enormous idea. How about we will make a giant, giant, giant space ship to blast off out to all the planets in our solar system. All right, well, I hope we got some instructions in here somewhere. Okay, we do. I, I, I might get lost. It smells funny. Oh, maybe it's the uh, daddy, he's over there washing dishes and getting rid of expired uh, food. Okay, so these are the 10 bonus experiments. We'll put these here. But yeah, it comes with the experiment guide. Let's see what we're going to do today. Tells you how to safely conduct your experiments. Let's read this and then come back. Okay, so we are doing the underwater volcano experiment. And I'm asking the boys what they think happens when a volcano forms underneath the water because in the ocean it's erupt. yeah but what do you think happens when a volcano forms in the ocean because if lava gets out of it it will explode mm -hmm. out of it right okay well first we have to assemble our experiment tray all right we are ready to begin. So it says measure 20 milliliters of water in the beaker. So this is the beaker, you guys. So where does it say 20? It doesn't say 20. It just goes up to 50. So I'm going to measure it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So you see the second line? That's where we're going to pour the water to. All right, Lathan? Yes. Okay. Both hands now. Yeah, so we can be very careful. Go to the second line. You see that line? One and there. Ooh, ooh. Look, that's a little too much. See? Alright, y'all see it? Mm -hmm. That's 20 milliliters of water. Okay, and then pour the water into the test tube. Okay? Test tube. Oh. That is alright. So this is the test tube. So now we have to measure the water into the test tube. Sebastian, I'll let you pour the water into here. Be very careful. Mm -hmm. Yep, hold it. Yep, so it can be steady. All right, good job. Next, it says add one small scoop of red cabbage powder. Red cabbage. And stir well until the powder is dissolved. Small scoop of red cabbage powder. You have to be very careful with this, okay? Okay, Lathan, hold it. Be careful. Hold the beaker too. I mean, hold the test tube. Yep, make it steady, okay? And then just. Look at the water. Mm -hmm. And then it's we so gotta hot. get ready to stir it. And stir well until the powder is dissolved. Until the powder is dissolved. Next, it says add one medium scoop of citric acid. Alright, so you've got a medium scoop of citric acid. 
All right, Sebastian. All right, we, oop. This is spilling. All right, all right, and then it says in stir, in stir well. It's it, gonna it turn looks red now. Red. All right, y'all. This is gonna be our underwater magma. Magma. So I got all the way up to the to this part. We made the magma. Yeah. All right. So now it's well three. Measure thirty milligrams of vegetable oil in the beaker. So let's go to thirty. I'm put it down. And we want to get to where my finger is at. Okay. Okay. How about we we'll get to thirty? Okay. That looked like it's good. Let's see if we got it to thirty. So we have to get the. But we gotta pour it in here. Oh, yeah. So we're about to do. Let's see if it works. Mm -hmm. okay. I forgot who's turn is next year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We probably should have read the instructions, huh? <laughs> the bubbles look. <laughs> oh okay. my gosh. And add it slowly. Oh, I said slowly to the <laughs> test tube. We just threw it in there. It so. felt like it was slow. Nah, it wasn't. <laughs> that hundred. Wow. So this Y'all gotta listen. Y'all right. yep, 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 yep. gotta listen. Y'all gotta listen. All right, number four. Measure one medium scoop of baking soda and drop it into the test tube. All right, y'all. Bash, you're gonna do this one. Okay. And they say don't overfill it. Do it just as. Uh, Okay, buddy. So I'll put this over here to the side. I'll turn it like that. Okay. Wait one sec. Let's read. It. So <laughs> measure the one scoop baking soda to drop it into the test tube. Watch what happens when the powder hits the magma. What do y'all think is gonna happen? Blow up. Okay. No, I think just blow up. All right. Yeah. We're gonna see. Okay. Let's see, Dash. It's your turn. Yeah, good job. Wow, it made a bubble. What's going on, y'all? I think we should it close is. it. You see the bubbles coming? I think we should close it. <laughs> That's what an underwater volcano is looking like. You see? Because it's underwater. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. It's going to explode. <laughs> yeah, that's an underwater volcano for y'all. Is Was it going to explode? End? <laughs> and then it has a fun fact over there on the side. It says, did you know? The world's largest active volcano starts underwater. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to let you read the rest of it because I don't know. <laughs> did you know the world's largest active volcano starts underwater? <gasps> Mo Mauna Lo Loa, <laughs> a volcano in Hawaii, rises 13,677 feet. That's 4,168 meters above sea level. But if you measure it from its base on the ocean floor, it stands over 30,000 feet. That's 9,144 meters high. Taller than Mount Everest. Wow. Y'all see that underwater volcano? I think it's going to blow up over. <laughs> I think it's going to go over. Yeah. <laughs> we should close it. Well, let's see what happens. <laughs> I can look. I can look. <laughs> I can. That's pretty I'm scared. Cool. I'm Why? scared too. Because what if it blows up into the sky? I don't think it's going to go much higher than what it's already gone. Oh, I'm so scared. I can't. <laughs> I'm just scared to. That's so I cool, look, right, look. you guys? So this isn't just any old volcano. This is an underwater volcano. Did y'all know that volcanoes happen underwater? Yeah. You did? Cool. I didn't. All right. Well, you learned something new today? I saw some. I saw it on Paw Patrol. Okay. There it goes. Cool, like this. Yeah. I think it will blow up. Here's the cake. Yeah, it is snowing. Look at that. And it's steady coming down. I looked at my phone and it said it's supposed to keep snowing until tomorrow morning. Like, what? Look like the kids might have a snow day tomorrow. Look at my baby. He coming down to see the snow. Is that you, Lightning? Oh, I need to get in this kitchen. 
and get ready to start working on dinner because it's going to take me a little while. So, snow is everywhere, but I still have my appointment and I don't want to be late. So, come on, y'all. Let's roll. I didn't realize until I started editing this vlog that I didn't mention to y'all that I was going to the dermatologist about this mole here that is on my scalp. I think I previously mentioned it in my vlog when I went to get my hair done. Um, the mole has been changing colors and bleeding and being irritated so I want to finally have somebody take another look at it. I have a different dermatologist today so I guess we'll see what she says about having this mole removed very irritated right now it's not as big as it usually is it grows sometimes it gets really huge right now it's small and it feels crusty <laughs> but yeah it makes me nervous so even though my last dermatologist said it wasn't harmful I want it removed before it gets bad because a lot of times your moles they'll be okay for a little while and then they could end up cancerous and I do have someone in my family that had um, skin cancer well you know moles and stuff that had cancer so oof. I guess we'll see what she says so that was easy <sighs> um, the PA, she gave me like a numbing shot in my mold and she shaved it off. So I shouldn't have to worry about it no more. But yeah, they shaved it off and they are going to send it out to the lab for a biopsy. And they also gave me some more eczema ointment, a prescription for some more eczema ointment. Hopefully they'll have that ready for me today at my pharmacy <sighs> so that I can use that on my scalp. <laughs> And other areas that get itchy but right now my, my scalp has been pretty it's been a little itchy but not as itchy as normal and I credit that to my girl for giving me that scalp treatment but yeah now it's home it's time to go home and log in so I can get a little work done before my next appointment I have an appointment at 11 30 for um, with my primary care doctor. Hey, turn I'm around for the camera. Go. What we get ready to do? Go out and play in the snow. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a snowfall fight. Oh goodness. And I'm gonna make a snowman. All right, I gotta get your snow boots on and your coat. Okay, snow fruit. <laughs> right, he cannot wait to throw some snow at me. It's so crunchy. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> really like them. Three, two, one. Get it. <laughs> we had a one sided snowball fight. Lay beat me up with the snow. <laughs> you have fun? I'm gonna do the kid. <laughs> I bet Let's you do it again. Let's do it again. Yeah, we'll do it again later. What's mommy about to make for you now? Hot, hot chocolate. Yeah. Let's see. Mommy got. We gotta wash our hands. My breath. What's going on with your breath? The snow made my breath hot. The snow made your breath hot. Mm. Not cold. But it made it cold. The bachelor likes cocoa. He does like cocoa? Mm -hmm. I thought he doesn't like cocoa. He does? Mm -hmm. Front, back, and in between like right they're really good. Wash your hands really good. Okay! <laughs> Alright. Now you can rinse them. Oh no, right here. It's all good, right? Like. Let me 
try to find some cocoa. I'm pretty sure we got cocoa over here somewhere. Yep. Good old little brand hot chocolate. You ain't even wait for the marshmallows. Be careful. Okay. Marshmallow dump. <laughs> there you go. Enjoy. So now it's time for my appointment with my PCP. Thankfully, the roads have been treated treated uh, really well. Let me go. Yeah, I don't want to walk through the snow. Most folks are home, so that's another good thing too. I don't really have to worry about a lot of people being out. Talking to y'all, I done got off on the wrong floor. All right, here we are. <laughs> backed up and running late so I think I'm gonna have a little bit of a wait it's all good though this is just a follow-up appointment so I'm not expecting it to um, last too long we're just gonna be probably reviewing some um sorry my fingernail broke but um we're reviewing some lab resort results and also some x-rays that i got like right before christmas but yeah my primary concern is my back i've been having back issues for years like back pain so i'm gonna see if the x-rays found anything and yeah i'm gonna see if maybe she can like help me try to obtain a reasonable accommodation for work. Because my pain is like out of this world. Like I don't think I should be having back pain every single day. Like I'll be having to lay flat on my back for relief. Like standing up for a long period of time to like cook dinner or stuff like that bothers me a lot and I be in like a lot of pain. Alright, that was easy enough. Okay. So, my test results and everything was good. Um, with my back, there's no issues with my back that they found. Just normal wear and tear. So, I guess that means I need to start working out and stretching. <laughs> but it's always good to be safe and sorry, you know. I stopped at CVS to get some um, photos printed out of the boys. Our neighbors gave us some picture frames that they weren't using. I was like, this is perfect because the, um, the frames, some of the frames in Lathan's room are silver and I need to put some more pictures up in Sebastian's room as well. So I went online and I ordered some front, some pictures last night from CVS and just stopped by on my way home to print them out. Why I get there, they look at all over for the pictures. They like, did uh, you get a message saying that they were ready to pick up? Yeah, three of the, uh, of the associates back there trying to figure out what's going on. They had to reprint them and stuff. I'm like, look, y'all need to hurry up. I need to hurry up and get clock back into work but yeah look at my boys this young lady and these are photos from last year look at mr photogenic that little boy he's so photogenic he has a nice smile oh my goodness let's see how it goes just precious uh, so yeah, I'm gonna put these pictures in their little frames and get daddy to hang them up Daddy wanted to hop in the fun 
with baby boy once he got off work. <laughs> Looks like they're finally going to build their snowman. OMG. <laughs> Hubby got one glove. I can't find the other glove. Let me go see if I can find the other glove to help him out. Because he on the struggle bus looking like OJ. Okay, y'all. Found the other glove. Hey, babe. Um, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mom, look. We're making a volcano. You're making a volcano, snowman. Well, that is just amazing. I see. Snow is too soft to make a snowman, buddy, but we're going to try to make it work. Shoot, that snow was hard. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, earlier it was it was tight. It was hard. It's no full fight. Uh-uh, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm done with this little boy. They still throwing snowballs at me, even though I'm inside. Oh, they can hear me. I'm glad Lathan get some snow thrown at him since I couldn't throw it at him earlier because I didn't have no gloves. You know what? <laughs> uh, look at them struggling with their snowman. You know what? I'm done. I am done. Um, Alright, so we're going to finish up the night by trying to excavate some dinosaurs out of this block that he got for Christmas. This little excavation kit. We're going to pretend like we're paleontologists. Yeah! <laughs> and I'm pretending I'm a T-Rex. So we're going to excavate out of here. Okay. All right, look at him ready to go. You already know, huh? Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. And yeah, be careful. Don't hit your um hit your thumb. Yep. That's how you do it. You just keep chipping away at it. You gotta hold the. Ch you gotta hold this part down. You gotta hold it, and then yep. Uh huh. No, don't don't pick it up. Just hold it. You see how mommy don't have it jumping? You just do it with the hammer. Pay attention to what you're doing. Yep, you brush it away. All right, now let mommy chip some more. I'm going to brush my side. Okay. some progress this is awesome all right let's get this cleaned up and then I'll get started on dinner okay okay it's another snow day you guys I'm out here in my little winter snowsuit oh now I'm about to get hit by a snowball look at that little one that's a you know what <laughs> <laughs> Look at him making a snow angel. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> awesome. I love it. <laughs> He's trying to help daddy clear off the car. <laughs> oh my goodness. Starting on our snowman. 
So you guys, I'm sitting here editing um, the vlog and I'm realizing that I did not properly close out the vlog. Like I didn't close it out at all. <laughs> I just ended with uh, Stefan making the snowman. I didn't even show y'all how it came out. But if y'all have been watching my YouTube shorts, then y'all have already seen that. As well as y'all had already seen the dinner that I made earlier in this vlog. Y'all had already seen me do that on my YouTube shorts and stuff too. So if you haven't noticed already, I've been posting more frequently on my YouTube shorts. I try to do that. I be, I really want to do it every day, but it's just not realistic. So I just post YouTube shorts whenever I can. So sometimes I like double um, double recording. I'm recording for the vlog and then I'm also recording to do shorts and the reason why I'm doing shorts is because I know that YouTube shorts is pulling in more subscribers as opposed to the longer vlogs I noticed that you know regular people that are already subscribed to my channels are the more are the people who are mainly watching the full link vlogs which I love that for y'all I, I love the full full link vlogs too but for some reason I don't think it's like hitting new subscribers you know, so maybe they're not noticing my longer vlogs, but they they do notice the shorts. So I noticed that when I post my little one minute shorts or however short the shorts are, people see it, they like it, they subscribe to my channel, and then hopefully they're going back and watching my my, my longer vlogs. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat dry. I need some water, son. But yeah, um, but in the shorts I did not include um my trips to the doctors or um what else the activities that we do with the boys like the chemistry experiment and the and the dinosaur excavation we did not include that in the shorts so hopefully this content is not as redundant like i said it was um more of like the snow and me cooking is what i did like the shorts on and stuff but i just hope that you all enjoyed that um i kind of like Throwing stuff out there, seeing what sticks right now and seeing how I need to go about my whole process differently than what I've been doing in the past and just looking for ways to improve. That's all for real, for real. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish wrapping this up because I got to upload this tomorrow and I still got to make my final edits. Then I got to make a... Uh, a thumbnail. I got to figure out what to even title this vlog because we got so much going on. But I hope that you all enjoyed the video. If so, don't forget to click that like button. It is a real good way to support the channel. And I think the likes also drive your content too to make it be pushed out and make more people see it too. Y'all know that that YouTube algorithm is just, it's a doozy. There's so many people try to figure it out. We don't know. But yeah, make sure you like the video and comment. And if you are new, make sure that you subscribe and you hit that notification bell. And I'll be sure to see you in the next video. Bye.